My name is Frank Belcastro. The following is a recreation of an attempt to find the Mercy Hospital emergency room. It begins by heading for the only place known to most people in Dubuque, the front entrance to the hospital. This is a daytime trip, so places can be identified, but some nighttime scenes will be interspersed to show how a sign or place looked at night. I will be talking to the person who has to go to the emergency room, and we are heading now down West 3rd Street, then crossing Hill Street. Okay, we're getting there. I guess I have to take a right on James Street, and then we can see the hospital. Oh, there's the main entrance, but where's the emergency room sign? Oh, no emergency room sign. That's a parking lot on the left, so I better turn right. It, it's got to be on the left here somewhere. No, that's medical associates, not this anchors. Come on, we're almost there. We're at the corner here. No sign, but I better turn left because the hospital's on the left. I better watch out for traffic here. Well, more medical associate signs. Can't turn here. Oh, we're almost there. Here's a corner. Ah, where's the sign? That looks like the highway ahead. And worse at night. Oh, there's a hospital sign. Better turn left. Oh, another entrance here. Seems to be medical associates. Looks worse at night. What happened to the hospital? Ah, here's a white sign. It says emergency room. But who's emergency room? Doesn't say mercy, but I better turn in here anyway. We're not going to approach Mercy Hospital coming up Hill Street. We're going to pass West 3rd Street. Ah, uh, here's an emergency room sign. The arrow says to go to the right. No, no, the sign's twisted. It's for the people on the right. I got to go straight ahead. Uh, this is supposed to be Mercy Drive, but according to the address, it says Wooten Street. I received a reply to my letter 11 months after sending it from the Mercy Hospital CEO, Mr. Russell Knight, who acknowledges the problem and states, quote, the reason we have not yet installed new signs is that we are aware the city of Dubuque is planning changes at both the James Langworthy intersection and the Hill Langworthy intersection. The work planned by the city could affect our signs, so we have chosen to wait and then make our changes in conjunction with the cities. At that time, we should be able to improve the visibility of our signs and the direction they face." Unquote. Now that seemed reasonable until I called the city of Dubuque chief engineer. He informed me that the department had not even done preliminary planning for the intersections and would do so only if A.J. Spiegel, A. G. Spiegel goes forward with his construction. That may depend on how many condos he sells. Construction could be a year away, two years away, never. And Mr. Knight is talking about only two of six signs I think are needed with construction at least a year away, and with four of the six signs that should be installed immediately. In your minutes or seconds of emergency need, does Mercy Hospital really give a care about you? You decide that. My name is Frank Belcastro. The following is a simulation of an attempt to find the Finley Hospital emergency room. I will be talking to the person who has to go to the emergency room. This is a daytime trip so places can be identified, but some nighttime scenes will be interspersed to show how a sign or place looked at night. Begins on Highway 20, heading east. There are the state hospital signs. So we're getting there. Here's another minute. And here's an exit that says Finley Hospital on the left. A couple of minutes here now. We'll be there. Here's a Finley Hospital campus sign so you know we're close. Here's another sign. Emergency room arrow to the right. I'm going to turn to the right here. Where are we? That's parking to the right, so I'll turn left. Got to be somewhere up here. Even the car head's not sure where to go. Still no signs. Ah, we're out in the street. 
Let's go back to the emergency room sign. You can see there are too many words here, and a sign ought to be lit up. Emergency room, right on Delhi Street. I hope that's the next street. Does that street sign up ahead say Delhi Street? Yep. And the hospital sign points right, so I'm going to turn right. Here's another sign. Administration to the right. It's not the emergency room. It's got to be a hit. Oh, what's this? Delhi Medical Center. We passed the hospital. I'm going to have to turn around. go from here. Can't go left. That's for ambulances. Well, hard to see at night. Straight ahead? Uh, is that truck blocking the door? Wait, I see cars in the circle. I think it reads emergency. Let me circle around. Let's go back to the first sign on Delhi. Administration. Drive slowly. As I drive slowly, I see a sign hidden by a bush that says emergency and convenient care to the right. What a place for a bush. Now we're traveling up Grandview toward Finley Hospital and reach the intersection of Delhi and Grandview. There's a sign to the left. Can it be red? And at night, it's hard to see anything. It's been the hospital, I think, but what else? And where's the emergency room sign? Take a left or straight ahead? Now we're traveling up Delhi and reach the intersection of Delhi and Grandview. Still no emergency room sign. Straight ahead or turn right, still a decision. Now we're traveling up Gray Street and reach the intersection of Grace and Grandview. Again, no emergency room sign again, no directions. I wrote to Finley Hospital in May. It has never responded. Do you really think Finley Hospital cares about your emergency needs? You decide.